Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Rose Dimba, and today I'm going to show you how to create a conical shape for steel silos in Tekla structures. And we'll get started right away. If you take a look on the screen, you can see a grid line here, but it's not to, to the measurements of our conical shape, but we'll just use it to define the, the, the parameters for our con. Now, this is Tekla Structures 2020 and this has been simplified and things are working perfectly like the previous versions. Now, there's some slight of improvement uh, in here under steel. So inside steel, if you go to plate here and click this drop down arrow, we, you will have options here to create uh, a, stand uh, a standalone bent plate or create a lofted plate which wasn't there in the previous version so this is heading somewhere and this these are the best tools when it comes to modeling uh, mechanical uh, components now today we are going to use create standalone bent to create a conical shape for our silo steel silo now i'll pick on this and prior to picking on that i'll first of all define my points that will guide me in creating that component I mean a conical shape for a steel silo. Now I'll come to edit here and come to points. Then I'll pick at any position here. Now I'll snap at, at that end. Then uh, I'll pick the center of my cone and define the, the center of my cone. The center of my cone will be somewhere there. Somewhere there. So I'll you I want to off this offset this point to uh, to, uh, to a particular dimension that uh, in this case I'm trying to define or to create a welding prep for my plate once uh, once folded and uh, and you need to apply or uh, or weld along the line now I'll select that point then right click and come to special copy here and click line uh, linear now I want to populate this point in that direction by six millimeter That's it now. I've offset this point to that direction by six millimeter now I want to offset it in in the opposite direction by another six millimeter now I'll select on that and place another one there. So in total I have 12 millimeter So in yeah, at the end of it at, at the end of it all I'll have a six, a six millimeter weld prep for my plate for my conical plate now I'll come to steel here and come to plate and come to create a, a standalone bent plate I'll select on that so the moment you pick you invoke that command you'll be prompted with a question at the bottom end here pick the center now my center of my cone the center of my cone will be this as I marked it previously I'll, 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 leave, I'll define that and pick the starting point my starting point will be here that will be my starting point so you, you re realize the moment you you pick your starting point and move and, and create a circle you'll be able to see you're creating a circle right there so try to bring it closer try bring it closer and I'll terminate my circle on that spot then zoom out once I've zoomed out the beauty with the, this new version of Tekla Structure 2020 you have uh, an option of defining the height of any particular or this particular cone so I'll just click on this field and type in the height of my cone so I'll just type three meters high and enter now I'll mouse over on top of this circle and and uh, left click here left click then mid click right there and my cone will be created instantly now i'll right click and come to interrupt to terminate that command so i want to rotate this i'll come to view and come to navigate and rotate this and you can see that our cone is in place so the points i was creating for the word uh, to give us a space or a weld uh, a welding prep for our plate once folded so the welding will be done uh, i mean th this gap will be filled by welding so you can see that let me just turn it around so this weld prep will be approximately approximately two millimeter or three uh, click on that and click on that spot three millimeter 
So this is how it looks and this is how simple it is in the new version of Tackle Structures 2020. And this should be should make your work much easier because there's some slight improvement in here. Now this is how it looks. And I'll leave it for you to try it once again. Try it yourself by following the steps I've just uh, done in creating a, co a conical shape for a steel silo or whichever uh, whichever component or a bug filter for cement industry. And please try that. Thanks a lot for watching this video. And uh, please try that by yourself. It's my pleasure. And let me then, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I'm Morris Dimba. And bye-bye. Thank you.